Dr. Victor Chang performed Australia's first successful heart transplant at St. Vincent's Hospital back in 1984. And I really do admire those families who can, in time of crisis, to make that decision to give somebody else an opportunity to live. I think that's the greatest gift that you can give people. That same year, then 14-year-old Fiona Coote, who's now 46, became the youngest ever heart recipient. It's no great big deal, really. It's like it doesn't hurt or anything like that. And Dr Chang's most famous patient. Life is not permanent for them, nor is it permanent for you and I. But at the height of his career, on the 4th of July 1991, the surgeon was inexplicably gunned down on a Mossman Street in Sydney's north in an extortion bid that went horribly wrong. Friend and colleague, Professor Peter MacDonald, was a pallbearer at his funeral. What did we lose that day, the day Victor Chang was murdered? You know, we, we lost, you know, one of Australia's great people, whether he, regardless of the profession he worked in and everything else, he was just a fantastic Australian. Dr Chang's death shocked all of Australia. The 54-year-old was not only a gifted surgeon, but a man of great compassion and charisma. It didn't matter whether it was the Prime Minister or the cleaner of the hospital, he seemed to have this very warm, engaging style and making that person feel that they were the important person rather than him. What made him such a brilliant cardiac surgeon? He's always wanted to push the boundaries and, you know, in that regard he was clearly one of the major pioneers in heart transplantation in this country and globally. Even today, Dr Chang is saving lives, thanks to the brilliant work being done at the research centre established in his memory. 13 major research groups. The Victor um, so Chang group Cardiac Research Institute. One and one of its most exciting achievements has been the development of technology that can bring a dead heart back to life, making it suitable for organ donation. I think this is the new frontier in, in organ transplantation and organ preservation. This and world first technology, technology has vastly increased the number of hearts for transplantation. So this little machine here will save potentially hundreds of lives. Well, I'd like to think thousands of lives. In one way, you're here because of Victor Chang. Exactly. I can't thank him enough. Tony Daniel is a fit and healthy 59-year-old. But 18 months ago, his life was hanging in the balance. He had end-stage heart failure and was given just weeks to live. Did you think you would die before you got a new heart? Yep, I, um, I didn't think I'd live till Christmas or my son's wedding, which was happening in uh, November. So I thought, if my heart doesn't come soon, that'll be it, yeah. That's when he got the call from St Vincent's Hospital. I mean, they effectively put what was once a dead, non-beating heart yeah. in your body. Yeah. This is like Frankenstein. I get a dead heart, you know, a couple of shocks and bang, it goes off. And uh, that's how I think it's a miracle that it happened. This was Tony's new heart just moments before his transplant. It was resuscitated in what's known as a heart in a box, a machine that also extends the amount of time the organ can spend outside of the body, from four hours to up to 14. Since that first successful heart transplant from these so-called dead heart transplants, uh, we've, we've now completed nine of these transplants. And are they well? Are and they they're healthy? well. They have normal hearts, these people. Their hearts are fully recovered. When I came to, I felt different. I felt great and I felt like a new person. Tony Daniel now has a chance at a future. He's seen his children marry and is looking forward to grandchildren. So you've got your life back? Yes, definitely, definitely. And it's all thanks to Victor Chang. We can only imagine what this humble, much-loved heart surgeon 
would have achieved had he not been so senselessly killed. But still, the good work goes on in his name. If he was watching on from somewhere, what would he be thinking? Oh, I think Victor would, um, he'd smile <laughs> and uh, he, would, he would nod approvingly and, say, and he'd be very excited. Hello, I'm Alison Langdon. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.